Here we go then, you've tuned in for another plugs video and in today's video we're going to be looking at an adapter okay and that adapter that we're going to be looking at uh, looks a little bit like this one there it is then okay coming very neatly into focus right there this one is an adapter which allows two Five, uh, two British Standard 546 plugs to be connected into it and there we are so what we're going to be looking at then is how this differs from most other adapters okay and then we'll uh, go from there so straight off then you can see on there we got the three pins and those are 15 amp on there okay Yeah, 15 amp on there. I'm just trying to uh, where it says in the middle of the pins there. There you go. Hopefully you've gotten right on that then. 5 to 15 amp. BSS it says there. Okay. So it says for end entry and vertical switch plugs. I've got this stuff on the screen. I can't really read it for you. Right. Yes. Ah, oh, that's much better. Right. For end entry and vertical switch plugs then. And we've got uh, British pat numbers there. Patent numbers. Okay. And at the top there it says 15 amp BSS. Okay, there you go. You can see that if I turn it to the side there like that. 5 to 15 amp and just says British safety standards. But this is actually, the pin configuration on that is 15 amp British standard 546. Okay, so nothing around the side there, nothing on the top, nothing around the other side. But right on the front, we got that. Okay. You can see it's a very well used unit, and this is an MK safety adapter. So there it is. Now, I showed around the sides and the top, but I didn't show underneath. That one on there is 15 amp, which is standard 446. And, yes, on the bottom then, we've got a smaller 5 amp one. Okay, which is standard 446 once again, and as you can see by those marks on it, uh, it is very well used. Okay. So there we are. Not too big at all. Taking our plug then. Okay, other brands of uh, plug will go in there. As long as they're to that pin configuration. You can see then it goes in there. There we go. That's one plug in there. And yes, I do have a 5 amp one, because there it is. Okay, let's compare. There we are. You can see the size difference. So, 15 amp one goes in them. And a 5 amp one goes in. So there we are. And then both of those can be connected into the wall socket. And uh, you can get... A 5 amp plug essentially into a 15 amp outlet. Okay, now the downsides with this adapter then. One downside with it. If you look in there, uh, you will find that there's no shutters inside that. So, although this is a uh, an adapter which... You know, it's obviously from way back in the day. Uh, you cannot use it anymore now because these holes have got no shutters in. And I've got a screwdriver here. And you can see that I can uh, shove that straight in there. 
Okay, so I'll put my thumb there and take that out. You can see that uh, that screwdriver goes right to the back there. No shutters in that whatsoever. Okay, so all of that is just losing itself straight into that adapter. Okay, and you can see the diameter of that screwdriver as well. If you've got something like a piece of metal or something that big and shoved it straight down there, uh, you can see that uh, there's nothing stopping you from putting that in there. It's the same with the earth one. And same with the neutral one. Goes right the way down there. No shutters in it. And it's the same with the the 5 amp one as well. Okay. Shove it right the way in there. See? Same with that one. And same with that one. No shutters in that. So you couldn't really use this anymore of today because it doesn't have shutters in it. It might have worked back in the day but not now. So now we've got the uh, disadvantage with that out the way. One of the advantages that MK did build into this over most other adapters is the fact that with the 5 amp outlet on that, it's fused. Okay, the 15 amp one, it is straight through. Okay, it's unrestricted because it doesn't need to be fused on the basis that uh, the, plug, the socket this plug is going to go into will be 15 amp fused at the consumer unit anyway. And, uh, well, there we are. So, if you get 15 amp there, and you've got a 15 amp plug, and it goes on there, uh, you don't need additional fusing. And similarly, these plugs are not fused. But, if we've got a 15 amp supply, and you then put a 5 amp plug in it, then that's going to pose all sorts of problems. Okay, and it did with other brands of adapter, because uh, you could, could actually get... 5 amp plug unrestricted into a 15 amp socket just by using an adapter and uh, that caused all sorts of problems because if this plug's only rated for 5 amps uh, you could probably pull three maybe four times that much out of it before the fuse at the consumer unit went and uh, that normally resulted in all sorts of fires and all sorts of problems but with this uh, there's a fuse in there okay so you can only draw you know, particular limit out of that before the internal fuse goes. But in this video, we're going to be opening this up and we'll have a look at how this is fused inside. Okay, again, it's something which is practiced back then, which isn't anymore so much so. Okay, right, let's uh, get in there then and uh, open it up. You've got a screw there and there's another one just up there A small precision engineered brass screw pops out right there okay please the focus has gotten on that A little screw there we go we just place that there remove the other screw then There we are, place it down there. Two little precision engineered brass screws there then. We flip the whole unit over, and then uh, just lifts off. Like so. Now what do you notice in there? Let me get a little zoom going on that. Yes, there is actually two fuses in that. Okay. So, why is there two fuses in there then? Okay, they're looking actually a little bit old and beaten up. Well, if we follow these copper strips in here and all that mambo jambo, you will actually find that there's the live pin, comes in, okay, and we've got a, the live output there for the 15 amp plug, okay, it comes up through the fuse. Down this copper brass piece here, and to this one, and that's your live output there. Okay. Now we follow the neutral one. Comes in. There's the tube there for the 15 amp plug. But once again, we've got another fuse. Comes through the fuse and down there, and out to the neutral. Okay, so yes, the 5 amp 
outlet on this is double pole fused. Okay, it's something which is not done anymore. And uh, there we are. The idea was, is that if there was a fault or an overload on this, both of these fuses would blow and protect the, the circuit. But what would sometimes happen is the live one would stay active, the neutral one would blow, and of course if you've got an appliance connected in there and it wasn't working, you'd automatically assume that it wasn't live, you'd touch it and get an electric shock. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was the problem, you see, with double pole fusing, which is why in modern day standards we don't put a fuse in the neutral. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's dig these little fuses out because they're not standard fuses. Let's take one out. Oh, it's all fallen to pieces. Oh, that's very, not very good then. Oh, it's all fallen to bits. Look. By the looks of things, that's actually not a fuse in there. It looks like someone's modified that. Look. It's Look at that. I reckon someone's modified that one. Look at that, so you can actually see the piece of wire coming out and there doesn't seem to be any sand in there, I don't think. No, I've got a feeling someone's modified that one. So there you go, it's a bit naughty, isn't it? And on the other end, you can see a little, smallest little piece of wire sticking out at the end there. You can see it sticking out at the end. That's naughty, I've never noticed that before. And yeah, look, on, on the end cap, it's all been soldered up and whatnot. Yeah, I reckon someone modified that. Was that in the neutral side? Uh, well, let me guess, it comes in there, through the fuse, out of there. Uh, no, that's actually the live one. So someone's modified the live, the live fuse then. That's naughty. That's very naughty. Let's have a look at that other one then. Right, that's looking a little more authentic. Isn't it? Oh, the end caps are coming off this one as well. Well, that's interesting. There doesn't appear to be any sand inside that. Let me get that zoom out. There doesn't appear to be any sand inside that. And the thing is, these are... Uh, it does actually say MK on it. MK fuse. And it's supposed to be 5 amp, 250 volts. It is actually so old and tattered that it doesn't actually say British Standard 646 on it. There it is then. MK fuse. That is supposed to say 5 amp, 250 volts. But as you can see, the end caps come off, and there's just a piece of fuse wire shoved in the end of that. Or piece of wire. And there we are. So I've got a feeling someone's modified that at some point because they couldn't get replacement fuses. So they've uh, cracked it open, shoved their own sort of fuse wire in there, and there we are. But that is supposed to be British Standard 6 or 6 fuse, if I can get it focus locked on. There we go. So that is supposed to be 5 amp British Standard 6 or 6. There is a spare fuse in there, it's just down there, if I tip that out. And this one... It does actually say 5 amp on it. You know, 5 amp, uh, 250 volts. And some, is that, is this patented on that? A little difficult to read that. I think that does actually say patented. Patented Great Britain, I believe that says on there. It's really difficult for me to see that. Focus is going now. 
let me see if I can do manual focus. That's way out. I've probably gone in a bit too far on that. All right, let's go back to uh, autofocus then. And just zoom out a tad. Right, there it is then. There you go. So I'm not going to be getting any closer on that then. But these are supposed to be... Uh, oh, it actually says MK fuse on that. MK fuse. 5 amp. 250 volts. I believe it says patented there. And some other, some other wording. Oh, it's a patent number. Yeah, patented Great Britain. And then there's a number underneath that. The patent number. So there we go. It's supposed to be a little British Standard 646 fuse. But the ones that are in there have been modified. Which is rather naughty. Okay, a little spare fuse holder just down there. I believe you might be able to store two fuses in there. Yeah, you can store two in there. Okay, one for each pole. Okay. So there it is then. Two little fuses that have been naughtily modified. I'll just plop those back in there. So what uh, fuse wire they've been modified with is uh, anyone's guess, really. But there's no sand inside those, which there should be. So there we go. But, like I say, double pole fusing is something which is not done anymore. And, uh, well, it just goes to show how old this device really is, because it's got double pole fusing in it. That little fuse keeps dropping out. Okay, so I'm going to reassemble that now. Nothing in there. There it is. Let me put that back together then. So there it is then. MK safety adapter. 15 amp on there, 5 amp down the bottom, double pole diffused. And, uh, well, there you go. 5 amp plug in there, and a 15 amp plug in there. Like so, for the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching that one. Uh,. Do press the like button, subscribe if you really want to, and we'll go from there really. More plugs videos coming up a bit later on. But on this one then, I'd like to say thanks for watching.